Hey guys, what's going on? Rock Hard Gaming back again today, and today we are going to be doing the two-player ascension strategy guide with Rippin' Fear, you know, my good buddy Rippin'. Uh, so today we are on ascension, as I just said, and uh, you, as you'll see right now, we're doing a monkey round. I have it in theater mode right now. Let me go ahead and uh, toggle this off if I can I there we go uh, there we go it's a little bit more cleaned up <clears throat> but uh, anyway you can't see my perks but currently I'm running jug quick revive dead shot uh, double tap and stamina amin up so I'm running in between uh, quick revive and stamina up uh, just making sure that they're both protected and um, oh I also forgot I have widow's wine and uh Rippin is watching that. So basically what we do is I'm just running back and forth between quick revive during these rounds, making sure that both of these perks are good and safe. And he is watching quick revive. And then after I pick up this max, you will see that I go to the same area that I showed you guys in the, um, in the, uh, the solo strategy. So, um, which by the way, I did realize something that I mentioned in my solo strategy that since then I have realized that you can't do. I did mention that it would be a good idea to just leave the Juggernog door closed and to just get it up out of the Wonder Fizz, but since then I have realized that Treyarch is far smarter than me and that they have already removed this feature from the game. There's only, I believe, two perks that you can get out of the Wonder Fizz in Ascension, and that is Deadshot and Double Tap. Um, so yeah, so you if you don't want to uh, get it via on the house or raindrops or um, something of that nature or get it from the monkeys um, by protecting your perks good enough, um, then you are going to have to open that door. We had on the house in this game, so that's how we got it. So we still don't have to go and open that door um, unless we run out of on the house and we want it later. Uh, but yeah, so as you see, we're just kind of chilling um, in the same area that we were last time. Although, since there's two of us now, I like to go out a little bit farther ahead and kind of get some extra kills. Um, in this game, I had the Lamentation, guys. And if you're playing in Black Ops 1, by all means, get the Lamentation. It's a great weapon. I love it. It's a great AR. I mean, like I say, get Wonder Weapons, Thunder Gun, Ray Gun. ARs and LMGs, all of those are great. SMGs in Black Ops um, aren't that great, but in BO3, they're not that bad. Uh, there's a CUDA right on the wall, um, right near the RK5, that if you want to pick up, it will do you great into the high rounds. But in Black Ops 1, if you're playing Ascension, don't bother picking up any SMGs. They're just not really going to help you. But, um, yeah, the Lamentation in this game, in BO3, this is BO3 gameplay from Zombies Chronicles, I, I would honestly say that this gun is so much worse than it used to be. It just feels so awkward, it runs out of ammo so fast, like, it's just, it doesn't have the sight, and it reloads so slow, oh my gosh, and it just, I don't feel like it has any power behind it like it used to. So if you're running BO3, I would recommend not running this gun that you see me using right here. Um, I didn't really appreciate it, and it actually ended up getting us killed on a fairly uh, low round uh, the other day, which unfortunately I wasn't recording. Me and Rippin did the same exact strategy, um, but I had different weapons, and we made it to quite a high round. Um, the solo strategy, I made it to round 40, and I believe in the two-player strategy that me and Rippin were playing, we got to round 44, um, the two-player strategy, I mean, um, when I had different weapons, but sadly I wasn't recording. Um, I don't remember what we made it to in this gameplay, but uh, it was pretty decent, so this is a really good high round strategy. Uh, you probably just want to have your one player watching the two stairwells, the one coming from the top and the one going down. And then you probably want your other player just watching that back barrier, making sure nothing's coming up behind you. And for the most part, you should pretty much be good. I realized that I didn't really um, say uh, what you might want to have on for gobblegum setups. And I'll go ahead and say this now for, um, for the past video, for this video, and for future videos to come. I'm not going to try to tell you guys what to run as far as um, gobble gums. And if you've noticed, whenever it comes to um, guns, I just list off a bunch of guns that may or may not be useful. But normally I'll just say, you know, an AR or a wonder weapon. I won't like actually say the gun. 
uh, because it's pretty much your preference. I mean, people can do great things with different things. I mean, pretty much every gobble gum in BO3 is useful in some way, shape, or form, unless it's a whimsical, obviously. Um, but I mean, you know, in pretty much every gun, somebody can use it in some great way. So, I mean, but as far I like, I will point out guns that I really don't like. And this lamentation is one of them. So guys, please do yourselves a favor and don't bother using this weapon. Uh, same like on call of the dead. I've mentioned that I hate the VR 11, that stupid toy gun. It's very pointless. It's a very stupid weapon. I wouldn't recommend picking that up either, but today we're not talking about call of the dead. We're talking about Ascension. So go ahead do yourself a favor. Don't pick up the lamentation. Also do me a favor. Don't forget to like comment and subscribe when you leave this video. Um, don't forget. You might want to get a uh, thunder gun, ray gun, things like that are really going to help you out. Um, and then just make sure that both you guys are being safe. Uh, make sure everybody knows what they're going to protect on the monkey rounds. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I will see you guys next time with the three-player strategy. Um, by the way, guys, um, I've been putting music in the background of m um, almost every single one of my videos, pretty much. So if you guys like that, uh, let me know in the comments down below and I'll continue doing it. I'm not going to do it on this one just to see how you guys like it. But um, yeah, just go ahead and let me know. Uh, no music in the background or music in the background. Um, and again, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.